Okay, let's take a look at the various kinds of mandrels that, that come with the rotary tool kits. This first mandrel here is basically has a shaft and then a threaded end, and that threaded end is pointy, kind of like a, a wood screw. And this is the mandrel you use when you're attaching soft, pliable attachments. In this case, we're looking at a polishing or a buffing wheel that's made of cloth and because it's made of cloth it's going to thread onto that threaded end and then be secure so basically you very simply line that hole up in the center of the wheel and then just thread it onto that screw on the end of the mandrel and then once it's on that's all you really have to do because the direction that the wheel is going to turn when the tool is on to make sure that that stays tight. So that's what that threaded style mandrel is for. Next up we've got this mandrel that basically has a, I'm going to try to show that to you, a slotted end. It looks like a, a slotted screw head which is pretty much what it is. We're going to take our tool, either a small screwdriver or you can use the tool uh, that comes with the kit and loosen that screw this at the end of that mandrel. Okay, the other thing to keep in mind is that there's a very small washer that is uh, underneath that screw and you're going to want to make sure you keep that washer because that helps keep the attachments secure in there. Okay, so it's a very small screw and washer so make sure you keep an eye on that. Don't let that get away and roll under the workbench. Okay, I'm going to set that down carefully, and then I'm going to take an attachment. Now here, this mandrel is used for hard attachments. In this case, we're looking at a, a, a cutting wheel, a cutting disc that's used to cut through uh, metal or, or plastic or ceramic, that kind of thing. So what we're going to do is basically thread that washer and screw into that hole, and then go ahead and screw that into the end of our mandrel here. You can start it by hand and get it most of the ways by hand. Then take your screw driver and finish tightening it. Okay, and then again, once you've got it tight, no need to over tighten it. Uh, because again, the direction the tool turns tends to keep it tight. You will have to check these kind of attachments from time to time to make sure they haven't loosened. And basically, that's how that that screw style mandrel works. The last one we're going to look at uh, today is one that trips up a lot of people. And basically, this rotary kit and a lot come with these uh, sanding drums. They are sandpaper mounted to a round. Uh, cardboard or paper tube and so what happens people put it on and they onto the rubber drum that it's supposed to go on and they don't understand why it won't stay on there and we get emails and calls from people saying the sandpaper won't drum won't stay on well the key to that is to take your screwdriver again and find the screw at the end of this and when you turn that screw basically what you're doing is expanding that rubber drum and as the rubber drum expands, it starts to grip that sanding drum. And then, by doing so, prevents that sanding drum from slipping. So that's the secret to that. And, and there, are, in our kit that we're looking at here, there are two different diameters of this rubber drum because there are uh, two different sizes of sanding drums. So you'll have to match those two up 